Hi there, this is Ranjit and uh, this is my Samsung Galaxy S4 and today the date is June 24th and I'm, when I just opened the phone earlier today, I do get this option of firmware update. Again, do note that it's a small update, it's a 28.5 MB update and it says that it improves stability. If you recall on June 11th, I also got another update that was a big update that was six, uh, 360 MB. Uh, you can check out this video for more info regarding that. So looks like Samsung is getting a bit aggressive and uh, putting out a lot of updates for the S4. Uh, so let's look at the model number before the update. And the build number as you can see is this one before this update. Android version I don't think so that's get, uh, going to get updated. The current Android version that we have is 4.2.2. Uh, the baseband might change. I'm not very sure. So let's uh, do this update and let's see what happens. Uh, so here is the update and uh, as you can see I just hit install again it says the device will be rebooted uh, I got this update over the air again uh, now the update uh, will install and generally takes about two three minutes and I'll just directly show you uh, if the build number and anything changes again it's very difficult to diagnose what are the changes uh, with this update so again I'll test this phone for about uh, three four days and let you guys know if uh, I find any changes with the phone again if you did get this update please share your opinions in the comment section below did it improve the stability of uh, Galaxy S4 or what changes do you see and the update uh, was done and now it has rebooted and it's optimizing the apps uh, it took about uh, uh, approximately about three minutes for the update to be done and the device reboots again it will be interesting to see what uh, features have been improved uh, I have still had the heating issue a little bit and also I would say uh, the lag uh, was some considerably reduced uh, uh, on the, by the June 11th update but it was still there a little bit. I hope uh, that gets fixed in this uh, update. If they can fix the heating issue of the screen that would be great but I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. So it's done almost now it should uh, start the phone. One thing I did notice is after that June 11 update, my widgets do take about 30 or 40 seconds to come. Uh, prior to that update, they used to come instantly. But as you can see, all my widgets do take about 30, 40 seconds to come. After everything is loaded, the widgets get loaded. So that's one thing I did notice. Yeah, it's a little bit quick, I would say. The clock widget came. Uh, again, let's look at the version. Let's go to more about again as you can see the Android version did not change as expected the build number has indeed changed uh, so again do let me know if you did get this update and after applying that update did you find any changes uh, and let's just go we also have uh, one more update that's interesting it's again connecting to the software update And it says connecting to the server so that's interesting I'll just wait for that so it might be just two updates now it's gone let's just go back and try to check for the update let's go to about the device let's hit the software update let's hit the check for the update let's see if it can find something again I'm happy to see that Samsung is finally uh, started to take serious the galaxy s4 and the issues and they are getting aggressive and it says that we have all the updates uh, applied so only one update was there again do let me know if you have uh, got this update and did you find any changes again i'll test this phone uh, for the next couple of days and let you know if i find any changes after this update so if you're using a Galaxy S4, did you get this update? And if so, did you find any changes? Please post your experience in the comment section below. That's it for now. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.